Hey everybody, welcome to another year, Two Kings Episode playing. four! Episode four, baby. <laughs> That's what we're doing. And distract you just more. fucking go. <laughs> okay. Amanda and I get back home and start cooking some dinner. <laughs> I found this artisanal mac and cheese recipe online that I've been dying to try. Artisanal? There's two. Wait, would, would, wouldn't he maybe mispronounce that? Yeah. Artisanal. Artisanal. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just guy. said it. I'm not gonna. Artisanal. There's two ingredients to mac and cheese. Mac and then cheese. Dang. Uh, that. <laughs> Please try to enjoy the finer things in life. I think you of all people should be able to appreciate what one can do with cheese. <laughs> Plus, there's bacon in it. Aren't we as a society collectively over bacon? Dad. Bacon never stopped being good. It just has a PR problem. Mm -hmm. We get to work on the recipe. Amanda measuring things out and handing them to me to dump in the bowl so I can feel useful. Amanda puts me on bacon duty, so I chop a bunch and toss it into the pan to get it sizzling. Hmm. The key to good mac and cheese is a balance of texture and flavor. Pops, not only are we going to want the fullness of the cheese and bacon, but we also need to counterbalance it with a crunchy mouthfeel of breadcrumbs. Check on bacon. Mouthfeel? <laughs> Mouthfeel? <laughs> Mouthfeel? What's a mouthfeel? You know, when you eat stuff and it, the texture. Uh, yeah. Listen, I've been watching a lot of the Food Channel, and honestly, I don't know what it means, but it makes me feel sophisticated to say. No, no, I get it. <laughs> Every time I watch that channel, I just feel in order hungry jealous insecure about my cooking ability and then hungry again i like the mouthfeel of that sentence <laughs> oh my god amanda hi yeah mouthfeel is just about food it's about words that are fun to say ah. gregarious i know gregarious what else boisterous <laughs> boisterous you can only pick one that you can pronounce. Oh, I do. I, I, I fucking I can pronounce that. Kind of want this. You pre pronounce yeah. none. Uh, con wait. Tabernacle. Discombobulated. I can do discombobulated. <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> the bacon. You didn't chuck on the bacon. Burst into flames. I must have not been paying attention to how hot the pan was. Now we're on fire. Ooh, do we get a fireman? Fire! Fire! Oh God! Fire! <laughs> ah! Ah. Ah. Fire. Ah. <laughs> I run around the kitchen looking for anything to put out the fire. I grab a cup of water and Amanda snatches it out of my hands. You don't put water. Hmm. Nope. She puts it down and calmly grabs a lid from the pantry. She places it on top of the flames and turns down the heat. I finally calm down. Then I almost just burn our brand new house because I was too busy saying silly words. Kaya! Indubitably. It's your fault. Cool. Everything's your fault. Who wants to take out? Cries. Shut up. What are you mumbling about, right? It's Heidi's fault. He's whispering, it's yeah. all your fault in that my the, ears. That the, the, the fucking fire started. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, Everything's fault. Heidi's fault. When the fire nation attacked, that had nothing to do with that. Indubitably. I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> Sure Amanda and I order some Chinese food and eat it on the couch of our new living room. She flips on the TV. It does sound good. <laughs> I got a little pint. Oh, cool. Long Haul Ice Road Paranormal Ghost Chuckers is on. Your favorite, right? Fuck <laughs> Long Haul Ice Road Paranormal Ghost Oh, hell Chuckers. yes. I'd watch it. I'd they watch have to it. make it over the Canadian tundra before the <laughs> ice road melts. But also, they're hunting ghosts. <laughs> also, the trucks are haunted. <laughs> Jesus. This is an episode I've already seen. But it's one of the best. Callum and Flint, Dogbone, the twin brother, truck driving, and ghost hunting duo find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Who's Callum? Oh, so on the TV? Oh, on yeah. The TV? Um, oh, no, the ghost don't got control of the truck. I can't steer them there, night, damn ice roads. Let yeah, me just use this EMV <laughs> meter to try and communicate with the spirits. <laughs> Flint, we're about to die! I love it. Ah, almost got it. If you listen, you carefully, it sounds like you're saying you're going to die. <laughs> That's because we're about to die, you. This is art, yes. I'd watch. The 
the episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start start arguments <laughs> on, on the internet. internet. <laughs> um, this is like you. This is just me. <laughs> I'm not even trying. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flasic. Dog fucking. <laughs> after the disastrous ice road accident. Afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. You can't believe you didn't go jogging with Craig. I know, man. I hope he wakes you up. <laughs> Just every day he every goes day. for it. Uh, <laughs> Morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. <laughs> ah. You have ah. never let me have five more minutes. So get up. Fine. <laughs> we have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is much better at interpreting the tiny manuals. We're able to put away, put together, I'm sorry, a few shelves on one desk, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. <laughs> so you excited for the cookout today? Cookout! Cookout! There's food, food I'm there's excited. There's food I'm excited. Uh, I'm all over those terrible store-bought sugar cookies that everyone brings to parties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are bad. Which means there are more for me. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? I'll probably end up staying uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food, and hopefully that nobody talks to me. Hmm. Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. We will get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon! Oh. The social butterfly! Well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be late. Ah. What? No, we have to be fashionably late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? Not you on. guys. <laughs> we You're are the, the only cookout. ones who fucking show up yes. on time. Yes. They gotta make their food. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I usually show up like second-ish, depending. You know what? We're going early, just because you said that. Yes. I head out the door, and Amanda reluctantly follows. Walk across the street to Joseph's house with a store bought veggie plate. We didn't want to risk burning down the house again. Huh? I guess we're not uh, as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people, and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler, and the adults chat in small clusters. I set our veggie plate down on a table next to two other veggie plates. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph! <laughs> I forgot what fucking voice I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over. Arms open wide. Mm -hmm. Welcome. I'm glad you two are here. And you brought veggies. Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come over here. This is Chris, my eldest. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> This is Christian and Christy. They're twins. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. All right, they say nothing. Oh, <laughs> fucking face. <laughs> then of course, there's our youngest, Chris. Not even a name. Chris. Chris. Wait, wait. Where's Chris? <laughs> Maybe Mary put him in his crib. <laughs> oh. oh, and how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? She's hot. She looks like a bitch. Yeah, I like that. Oh, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Chris to bed? Hey. You, you have to do all the things. Oh! <coughs> yeah! Yeah, it ain't so easy, is it? I'm trying yeah. to do boys, I don't do boys. Do like, exactly, do, do I? Do like a nasally one. No, she looks like a stuck up bitch. Oh, do Kathy so say so nasally? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> what? You'll have to? Yeah. Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. Oh. Mary, this is our new neighbor, George, and his daughter, Haya. Ah. <laughs> I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. That's good. Pretty good. I love her. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mary. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. Ooh, uh. <laughs> My wife has a wonderful sense of humor. But please, you two, enjoy the barbecue! All the guys are really excited to meet you. <laughs> Here, let me introduce you around. Have you met Matt yet? Is Matt hot? Who? Hmm. Hey Matt, come meet our new neighbors. <coughs> this is George and Amanda. Ah. 
Amanda and I both give him a wave. Gorgeous. Hey, yeah. Oh, uh, hey. I'm Matt. <laughs> nice to meet you two. Matt runs the coffee shop down the street. He bakes, I mean, carrot cake. Mean carrot cake. He <laughs> bakes a mean carrot cake. Matt grins sheepishly. <laughs> He also knows everything about music. His record collection takes up a whole wall in his house. He's tatted and ripped with his <laughs> hair. That's me, the music He's guy. He's the music guy. That's a bit of an understatement. He also used to be in a... Hey. Ah, uh, I'm just the music guy. Always stoked to discuss music. Tunes and stuff. Let's <laughs> talk tunes. Let's oh. talk tunes. That's so cool. I love music. My dad would never be with him. Hey, never. <laughs> that guy's too cool. Matt's ears seem to perk up. Oh. Oh, yeah? What kind of stuff do you listen to? Everything. <laughs> dead Rock. Dead, dead Rock. rock. Dead, dead, rock. dead Rock. This song's exclusively about being it's dead. Tattoos. That's me. No, it's Dead but Rock. But Dead Rock. <clears throat> you know, with the guitars and the drums and the lyricism about growing older and seeing the world changing before your eyes and... Don't know how to deal with it? Hey. Buddy. I relate to that. Oh my god. Oh. Cool. Alright. Matt stands there for a second. So! Hey. Right. Cool. Hey. Cool. Well, hey. I'll uh, be making the rounds. Feel free to stop by later. Yeah, just stop by later. <laughs> Is he as afraid of people as you are? He might be. <laughs> Let me introduce you to Damien. Damien's a oh, hot name. Oh, that's what I want. Oh, the gothic Holy Frank! Frank. Yes, yes the Joseph goth Beckins, loser vampire. a tall man in gath- gothic attire. I'm so excited over the conversation. <laughs> you have a literal vampire. That's Goody what you're attracted to. Friends. God. Oh. Damien, this is our new neighbor, George. Do more like a. Black. Do more like a. So lovely to meet you. <laughs> Frank God. wants him to be perfect. Okay, you do it then, bro. I can't. He's I'm doing. I'm already doing some guy voice over here. How like do you a, want? How you want? Can you do like a like a Brad Pitt? It like is lovely to do meet it? you. Do <laughs> <laughs> do yeah. Do vampire. Ah, <laughs> so lovely to meet you. Italian vampire. Italian vampire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you want it still on one? You want it! <laughs> now you get it. Yeah. Damien shakes my hand and then bows. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever in, <laughs> if you're ever interested, it would bring me great pleasure to host for you a spot of afternoon tea. I don't know wow. what I'm going with that dude. Uh, yeah. It's kind of everywhere. That sounds rad. <laughs> Just try, try to do... Uh, <laughs> Splendid. I was gonna say well, I must be off. off. Perhaps our path shall cross again. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. What a classy what a dude. What a classy dude. He's a literal He's vampire. Classy, He's a yeah. literal vampire. <laughs> this is Robert. He lives just across the way. There you go, Heidi. Go. Oh, oh, oh my shit! God. An alcoholic <laughs> bomb. <laughs> I kind of want to do this. One. Nursing a glass of whiskey. Eyes be up to death. God, he just goes He's, there. He just looks like a dirt bag. Hey. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's good. Hey, <laughs> I'm George. It's nice to meet you. He takes a long swig of his oh, drink. the one that hits you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> charmed. Why is everyone charmed? Uh. <laughs> George and his daughter just moved in next door. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> If you ever need recommendations on where to get a drink in this town, Rob's your man. Oh. I told you not to call me Rob. Oh, God. oh. Right. Got it. Rob ambles away without saying goodbye. <laughs> Calls him Rob. Oh. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Rob. <laughs> He's not really a people person. Alright. He killed my dog. Wow. <laughs> 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 wow. I think I've actually met everybody else. Oh. Great. I bet you're excited to get to know everyone better. I hope you both enjoy yourselves. So we're going for the vampire? <laughs> we'll see. I like Rick, it. Rick will get to do his voice. <laughs> yes! Amanda and I mill around to try some of the food spread out on the table. 
I pick it some deviled eggs, Amanda grabs a small paper plate, and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. Uh, I don't want to have to make friends. Uh, come on, Dad, what are you going to do at a party when I go off to school? Who are you going to party with when ah! you go to school? Ah! Shut up. But I do want to have to do pleasantries. Ah, Dad. Ugh. They're going to talk about weather. Dad. Go. Do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That means your sister died too. That's bad parenting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ran away from this him. plate of cookies is my new dad. <laughs> Bye. <It's real. laughs> Amanda shows me the to the center of the yard. Well, here goes the thing. I look around the party and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Fuck, I can't stop. Uh, oh, it's the coffee guy. Where is he the music guy? Tats. He's the cool music guy. What are you talking about? Like Lenny Crab. Cool what a cool guy. Oh, he's and a drunk. He's <laughs> <It's> gonna <laughs> fucking hate me. No. Did that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Piece of shit. Right. That mysterious goth, goth guy. guy. He's so dreamy. Ew, Frank. He's a taste of shit. Oh! Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Yeah, hot too. Dude, I forgot how hey, I did me. I know voice. Craig. <laughs> oh, that's right. No, it was no, yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. You know Craig. I know Craig. You want Craig too. <laughs> Wait a second. All of these people live in our cul-de-sac? That can't be right. I'd better investigate. Who do you want to talk to? Talk to... Joseph and Damien. As long as Damien is... Burger time. Yeah. Burger time. Yeah, Joseph and Damien. <laughs> burger time? <laughs> yeah, burger time. No, we're making... We're talking. Which one's Joseph? Oh, Joseph? We Which one's talk. Joseph? Joseph's the blonde. We all, he, yeah, go. We've been talking to him. It's easy. Go. <clears throat> so he's been our friend, I guess. We're just going to be doing two voices, maybe. <laughs> I spot Joseph chatting with Damien by the grill. I wonder what they're talking about. I walk over to them. Mm. So I'm curious. How can you walk? Th what? <laughs> can you walk me through why you had your house painted black? Because he's. What's the? Never mind. Where do I even start? <laughs> 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 the house stays warmer in the winter. It provides an artistic contrast to the rest of the neighborhood. And it complements the crimson interior perfectly. Uh. That's definitely an <laughs> interesting choice. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very proud of my abode. <laughs> George, I was just having a conversation with Damien over here about the, his... Aesthetic design decisions. You got it. <laughs> it's just all ah, good. <laughs> greetings once again, George. Hmm. Do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yeah, yes. My daughter and I moved in the other day. Uh. Are you enjoying the party so far? Oh, definitely. Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Hey. Amanda walks up to the conversation. Hi. It's Damien, right? My name's Amanda. Huh. At your service. What a pleasure it is to meet you. Are you a Damien finishes a sentence <laughs> with a flourish and a bow, producing a single rose <laughs> and offering she it to Amanda. She knows my secret. He gives me a rose. Nice. Hot. Not. <laughs> Aya blushes and returns the gesture with a curtsy. <laughs> My, you, do you know how to treat Whoa. a lady? Oh. Oh, you, you, you both have to do it at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Hello, Hello Amanda. Amanda. Creeps. <laughs> Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twin kids appear. Uh, are they speaking in unison? Yeah, right, we are. Yeah. Ah. Ha hey. Won't you come play with us? Uh, come play with us forever. <laughs> Guys, enough with the creepy twin chick. We've talked about this. Eh? Christian and Chrissy slowly back away. Oh. Shit, she's British, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where do you think they got that from? Uh, <laughs> She's just cock and eating, right? <laughs> That's pretty good. Mary Damn. pops into the conversation, wine in hand. Mm. <clears throat> it's like juggling I, uh, voices right I now. I know. Don't know. 
Mary takes a long sip of the wine. Hmm. I think I might have tipped over the. No, worse. <laughs> what? I see her! No. You, the one you did right before was fine. I think I might have tipped over a VeggieTales VH. It's <laughs> just shining. Who knows? <laughs> I'm drunk. Oh, She's just drinking so. wine. Sure. She takes another sip of her wine. <clears throat> Where's Krish? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wasn't he with you? Yeah. You had him a moment ago. <sighs> He's probably stuffing dirt in his mouth. He'll be all right. Tadas are pretty <laughs> resilient. Mary tips her glass to me. Hmm. Ain't my first time to the ocean. <laughs> no, Brit wouldn't say that. Ain't my first time to the rodeo. It's my fourth. Ugh. I have squeezed four little. Sweetheart, would you do me a favor? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Go and find Chris, please. That would be great. I'm sure he's fine. Oh, Mary. Mm. Okay. Don't make me hit you. Jeez. <laughs> Not in front of the guests. Finish Not again. Wine. Mary finishes her <laughs> wine and wanders off. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Dead. <laughs> can we now go? Wait. Can we go? Now? He didn't sound like that last time. He does now. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. He's a bad man now. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lucien. <laughs> Have I introduced you to George yet? Hey, it's that <laughs> punk from Amanda's school. I knew he was gonna go on yeah, you did. Man. You called it. I remember you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> It's no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite. <laughs> Lucian bows. God. I like how he has his six 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 ten. Is that what that is? Wow. Whatever, sir. <laughs> Lucian bows again. Mister Christie. Christian. Christensen. Christensen. <clears throat> Mr. Christensen, <laughs> may I have a veggie, you a veggie burger, sure. sir? It's just sure. Batman now. It's yeah. just Batman now. Oh. <laughs> Coming right up, bud. Are you a vegetarian? Yep. <laughs> Make that two veggie burgers. <laughs> Did you know that some people in Victorian era were vegetarians? They described carnivorous type people as blood lappers. Coming from the vampire? Right. Dead. Oh. That's really interesting, Damien. <laughs> All <laughs> the <voices>. so <laughs> to the girl. Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve. I can't believe I didn't notice it before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. Whoa. Is that a tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know. He was a sailor. <clears throat> That's so cool. Want to see mine? Ha! Oh. Huh. What? <laughs> Lucian pulls back some rubber bracelets, revealing a lopsided 666 in black ink. My buddy gave me a stick and poke tattoo last week. I think it's healing up pretty good. Lucian! <laughs> Shitty fucking kid. We'll talk about this later in the oh. dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. What's the significance of the tattoo? I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> God damn it! I did like three voices. At I once. know. Yeah, you're, you're yeah pretty good. Yeah, talking okay, to okay. <clears throat> Joseph. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful though, that number carries weight. Because he's a youth pastor. Man, Joseph is way cooler. Wait, is a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I just figured youth pastors popped out of the womb of the Bible. I wonder what he did before preaching. <laughs> we're going to cut it there. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to cut that episode there. <laughs> Sing it, guys! Yeah! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's I it. hate it. it. Vampire guy. Vampire cock. In my ass.